Hello friends, uh, welcome to my uh, channel and today I am going to talk to you about uh, astigmatism. Now, what is astigmatism? How do we correct astigmatism? The world of, you know, correcting astigmatism with glasses as well as correcting astigmatism with intraocular lenses and deep dive into that subject of astigmatism. Well, uh, before I start, I would like to request you to not to forget uh, clicking on the subscribe button and so that you can get uh, notifications to my more forthcoming videos, right? So, uh, before, let me start with the uh, concept of astigmatism, right? What is astigmatism? To understand what is astigmatism, let us take a little step back and uh, remember that for an emetropic eye, emetropic eye, and let me write it down, emetropia. So for an emetropic eye where there is no refractive error, for example, myopia, hyperopia, or astigmatism, the total power of the eye is how much? The total power of the eye will be something around, you know, 62 to 64 diopters. The total power of the eye. And out of this total power of the eye, the cornea, the cornea, and the human crystalline lens, the cornea and the human crystalline lens, how much do they account towards this total refractive power of the eye. The cornea accounts for two-thirds of the power, so that an average patient who has an emetropia, the cornea will have around, say, 43.5 diopters, around 43 to 44 diopters. The human crystalline lens will have a power of the rest of one-third, right? So, for the subject of astigmatism today, let us hypothetically think that the entire astigmatism is because of the cornea, right? To understand more in details the concept of astigmatism, let us think about that this patient has astigmatism only because of the cornea. So now, to understand astigmatism, and we talked about uh, that the cornea will have around 43 to 44 diopters of power for a patient who uh, who is not having who is an emetropic patient, right? So now, say for example, uh, this patient has astigmatism, right? So he is not an emetropic patient; he is an ametropia, right? Ametropia. Ametropia means what? The patient has some refractive errors and in this case we think that this patient has a refractive error of astigmatism that is coming from astigmatism. So this patient let's now study what is his state of the cornea right and we know for an average patient the corneal power is 43 to 44 diopters. So, for an average patient, for an emetropic patient, again, emetropic patient, the cornea will have, say, 43.5 diopters, 43.5 diopters in all the meridians. So, this patient, this, for an average person uh, who is an emetropic, he will have a corneal power, say, of 43.5 diopters throughout the cornea. This is for the emetropic patient, right? This is for the emetropic patient here. But for an ametropic patient, so someone who is having refractive error, and say, for example, this refractive error is astigmatism, this patient will no longer have the same power all across the cornea it will not be like that so what will be the case in uh, in case of an ametropic person with astigmatism 
say for example he might be having 43 diopters or 43.5 diopters here say this is the 180 degree meridian so this is the 180 degree meridian and this patient will have 43.5 at 180 degree and a lower or a higher power 90 degree away from that so for example this patient has 46 diopter at 90 degree so this is the 90 degree this is the 0 degree 90 180 degree so this patient will have 46 diopter of power at 90 degree and right angle from there this patient will have 43.5 diopters at 180 degree it may not be 43.5, it could be something else. So for example, here, this patient has, say, 42 diopters, 42 diopters at 90 degree. And in this, at 180 degree, this patient may have 43.5 or may have something higher than that or lower than that. But the point here to note is that this patient will have two different powers at two different meridians which are right angle away from from the two meridians so these two meridians are 90 degree away and for a patient who suffers from regular astigmatism the powers will be different in these two meridians in this case you can see this patient is having 42 diopters at 90 degree 90 degree is flatter than 43.5 degrees at 180 degree. Since 90 degree is flatter, we will call this as the flat meridian. We will call this as the flat meridian. Since this is steeper, yes you are right, we will call this as a steeper meridian. We will call this steeper meridian. So you have you say for example, I mean just a, just just an example here. This patient has forty five diopters here, and this patient has forty eight diopters. Forty eight diopters here. Forty eight diopters. 48 diopters at 90 degree, 45 diopters at 180 degree. Then this meridian now becomes steeper. So this meridian now becomes steeper and this meridian now becomes flatter. So we will call this as a flat meridian. Sorry, I don't so this is going to be the flat meridian. Which meridian? Flat meridian at 180 degree. We'll call this flat meridian at 180 degree. We'll call this steep meridian at 90 degree. So now in this case, 48 diopters at 90 degree and you have 45 diopters at 180, 180 degree. We talked about the steep and the flat meridians so we can also write this as 48 at 90 45 at 180 so it means a, the patient has plus three diopters at 90 degrees or we can also write this as minus 3 at 180 degree and this is a very important concept friends in this example plus 3 at 90 degree and minus 3 at 180 degree are all the same you can say this as plus 3 at 90 degree and you can also represent the same thing as minus 3 at 180 degree. They both mean the same. 
to explain to you this concept further, let me let me uh, take an example, an everyday example here. So, Mr. X, Mr. X has forty-six candies. So, these are the candies. Mr. X has forty-six candies. Mr. Y has fifty-two candies. Again, Mr. Y has fifty-two candies. We can say Mr. X has minus six candies, right? We can say this as Mr. X has minus six candies. Mr. X has minus six candies. We can also represent this as Mr. Y has plus six. Mr. X, sorry, Mr. Y. So I will just, just try to rub this. It is getting a little cluttered. So Mr. Y has fifty-two candies. That is six extra than Mr. X. So Mr. Y has plus six candies. They all mean the same, right? Minus six for Mr. X means plus six for Mr. Y. They all mean the same. Same way over here, plus three at ninety degree means minus three at one eighty degrees. So a quick exercise for you. Let's have a quick exercise for you, and let's see how do you represent this again. This is the cornea, and again. You have, say, for example, you have forty-two diopters at ninety degree, at ninety degree, and at one eighty degree, you have forty-eight diopters. You have forty-eight diopters at one eighty degree, right? How can you write this? What is the difference between the two? The difference is. Plus the difference is six diopters, right? Six diopters. Who has six diopters more? Ninety degree has this is six diopter more, or one eighty degree has the six diopter more? Of course, one eighty degree has the six diopter more. So you will write here as one eighty degree since it has six diopter more. This is plus. Even if you don't write the sign plus, it's it's just meant to be plus because you know it's simple mathematics. You don't put a sign for the plus. But if you have to write in terms of Mr. 90 degree, then you know at 90 degree it is less. So again, six diopters. The difference remains the same between 180 and 90 degree. The difference remains the same, but at 90 degree you have a minus. The same example as Mr. X and Mr. Y's candies, right? Right. So keep an eye on this video. We are going to go deeper uh, into the world of astigmatism. Thank you for your attention.